guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Nadira Janae if you're not hey girl welcome back in today's video we have something really exciting to me at least something that you guys really seem to enjoy we're doing another Tory Burch purse unboxing slash review slash what fits inside so if you are interested in seeing this type of video then keep on watching hi guys so as you just saw by the intro i am back with another tory birch bag you guys really seem to love these type of videos on my channel i love bags i definitely love tory birch bags so i will definitely keep on delivering and keep bringing you these types of videos so without further ado let's go ahead and get into the bag i have it right here now before i unbox this bag i do want to let you guys know that i have had this for a couple months now um i got this in February either late January early February I'm not sure um so I have had it for some time but I don't really wear it that well I haven't worn it that much yet so there wasn't really much for me to speak on to do the video but I have been wearing it a little bit a little bit more lately so I felt like it was just a perfect time for me to go ahead and introduce you guys to my new boo well one of my new boos because <laughs> That's another story for another day. But let's go ahead and get into, get into the purse, girl. So, I have it right here. And it does come in the standard traditional Tory dust bag. Now, to be totally honest with you guys, the dust bag is not anything special. It, it really doesn't do it for me if I'm going to be totally transparent with you guys. But the purse always does. The dust bag, purse, purse, chef's kiss. So yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys in the dust bag. So let's go ahead and pull her out. All right. Let me move the straps out the way. Here she is, you guys. I got the large matte black Fleming. This bag is just absolutely gorgeous to me. Now, very similar to the Kira, which you guys have seen me um, show on my channel. It does have the long strap where it can be worn as a shoulder bag if you would like to. Or you can go ahead and drop the um, straps and wear it as a crossbody. So I do love that. We love a versatile bag, especially when you're paying some coins. Okay. So I'm just going to show you guys. So we can go ahead, like I said, and put this bag on our shoulder if you want to. Or then you could just go ahead and wear it as a crossbody as well. Um, like I said, I did get the large size. This size is perfect for me. This bag does come in a mini as well. But your girl likes to carry a lot of stuff. So, and then also like for the price, I was like, I might as well just go ahead and get the large. So, let's go ahead and get into some specs of the bag. I did have to go ahead and pull it up on the Tory website. <laughs> Because I, of course, own this bag. I love this bag. I know about this bag because I work with this bag often. But when you be recording videos, girl, sometimes the stuff just go out the window. So, <laughs> okay. So, again, this is the Matte Black Fleming. They do call it a convertible shoulder bag. As I showed you guys, it can be worn as a shoulder bag or, of course, as a crossbody bag. This bag does retail for $5.98. Um, now, if you're unfamiliar, Tory Burch did have recently have an increase in prices. So, when I bought this bag, and again, I do get my Tory Burch bags for a discounted rate. I did purchase this bag for, well, retail. I want to say it was five, 528 It was 528 So, this bag 
definitely went up oh my god it went up seventy dollars um so the bag when i purchased it again it retailed for 528 again i do get a discount there um but yeah the bag now retails for 598 <laughs> so yeah um <laughs> now it it of course does have as you guys can see um both in the front and in the back it does have the embossed diamond quilting which does add a little bit of flair to the bag which i really do love um i can't see the bag without that but it does add a little pop as i mentioned it does have the tory logo at the top which is really cute as well the bag also does come with this like little tassel keychain which is removable i do appreciate that because i actually am not a fan of the tassel so i do take it off i just want to keep it on to show you guys um but yeah that's what it looks like without the tassel also do like that it does have the double shoulder guard as you guys can see so if you do decide to wear it of course as a shoulder bag with both straps up you're not going to have the chain digging into your skin so that's very convenient as well now on the website it does say that it can hold up to an eight inch tablet i'm not really sure about that this is not the type of bag that i could see myself holding the tablet in but to each his own um it does have a pocket on the back which is good it has a little snap feature as well you really can't fit too many things in here but it's always good to have the extra space when needed on a bag now it also does it also does have the flap with a magnetic closure which i really really love i love love, love that i hate when i go into a purse and i'm pulling stuff out and i'm trying to you like when you pay at the register and you're trying to get your card out or whatever and then you're fighting to close your bag it's too much so i really appreciate the magnetic closure um of course i told you guys about the adjustable strap let's get into the inside of the bag so you can see about how much space it has so if you open it up just start pulling some things out so you can kind of see what does fit in the bag now as i showed you guys before i do always keep like a little pouch of some sort in my little purses or whatever which normally just holds some perfume the lip gloss that i'm wearing of the day any personal items i may need hand sanitizer things like that then i do also have in here another hand sanitizer this cute little hand sanitizer i'm sure you girls have seen this all over tiktok all over the internet this one at sephora it's so cute and compact that i just absolutely love that so if i'm ever carrying a bag where it's too big for me to just transfer this pouch i always can take another hand sanitizer with me so i love that and it's small enough that it can fit in like a super small bag like the mini version of this bag or like a like a small telfar or something like that then i also have my little card holder which again is from tory birch you guys have saw that before and then i have my keys and my coin purse on there of course a mask <laughs> and some random gum now again i want to go ahead and show you the inside so this is what the inside of the bag looks like so as you guys can see based off of what i kind of keep in my bag and i did have a lot of space it can fit quite a few things in here so we do we love that it has a zipper on the back and then on the front if you guys can see it does have an area for you to store your cards so if you didn't want to like if you're a person that carries like a long compact wallet or you just didn't want to take your wallet you definitely have an area for you to store your cards you can fit a good amount in there actually and then of course you have all of this like free space right here on the inside of it and of course as i showed you guys it does have also the space in the back so this bag, in my personal opinion, is a absolute must-have if you are a Tory fan. The matte black, I just love everything about it. A purse like this, you can definitely wear this, you know, dressed up or dressed down. You could wear this with some jeans. You could definitely wear this with some pumps. I went out <laughs> last weekend and I definitely wore this. I'm normally a person that wears all black anyway, so I feel like this purse is just perfect for it. I absolutely adore that the straps is also black because of course as we know purses either are gonna have gold hardware or silver hardware and if you 
thigh cute bag that you like that has silver hardware, but you're a person that wears all gold accessories. You kind of like, yeah, I don't know what to do. Just run the outfit. This, you really don't have to choose, girl. You can wear your silver jewelry, you can wear your gold jewelry, you can wear your blue jewelry, you can wear whatever you want to with this bag. That's why I absolutely love it. Again, it does retail for $5.98, so it is kind of steep. Like I said, Tori did recently increase her prices, girl. So, so again, guys, this is her. Love her. Let me know down in the comment section below what you think about this bag. Are you a Tory Burch fan? Do you own this bag? What do you think about the price increase, girl? Let me know down in the comments below. Let's talk. And I just recently bought some new tail feezies as well. So if you guys are interested in seeing an unboxing on them because I haven't worn them at all yet, um, please let me know. I'll definitely make a video on that for you guys. So yeah. Um, now all in all, I do give this bag a 10 out of 10, highly recommend. I will say though, if you don't already own this bag and you're thinking about it, definitely be careful because if you guys can tell very much like the Kira, the bag, um, I'm sorry, the material up here is very, very soft. It's very sensitive. That's why I don't really wear this bag like on an everyday basis. Um, I like to wear long nails as you guys can see. This is actually like on the medium side for me. Sometimes they're longer. So yeah, just definitely be very careful because one little accidental scratch and you got the little dentation showing up in your purse. And I don't like that. No matter how long I had the bag, I don't like that. So that's just definitely something to be um, wary of, be cautious of. Um, I did, like I said, I wore this bag out last weekend and I already had it on when I decided to go ahead and spray my fragrance. My mistake, I know better. But um it definitely, I don't know if you guys can see, but it definitely has some of it here. Now, this for sure is something that could just easily be wiped off. I just haven't done it yet because I was in a rush that day, so I had to leave quick. But that can just easily be wiped off. But those are just things to, you know, definitely think about because, again, like I said, this bag is not cheap. Um, it's definitely not, like, on the scale of, like, Louis Vuitton or Gucci or something like that. But $5.98, that's $600, girl. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, you definitely want to be mindful of things like that, so... Just something to think about again if you do not have this bag and you maybe were thinking about purchasing it but guys that is all i have for this bag for today again what do you guys think please let me know down in the comment section below i love the bag like i said i don't wear it all the time but that's just me but yeah that's gonna conclude this video i hope i see you guys in my next one and i love you guys so much don't forget to like comment and subscribe